Sticking with Snap, the company can't seem to keep up with the Kardashians. Kylie Jenner may have added to the social media company's woes with a single tweet. Selena Wang joins us now, so Snap closing down. 6% Selena after this tweet from Kylie earlier saying, so does anyone else not open Snapchat anymore or is it just me? Ugh, this is so sad. Is that stock drop entirely because of Kylie Jenner? It's not entirely because of Kylie. I mean, Snapchat as a stock is already on shaky ground. So any incremental piece of news about troubles on the user experience or user growth is going to cause a significant drop. In fact, we saw this happen last month when I published a story about Twitter coming out with a competing camera product. And that story alone caused its shares to drop 5%. But that being said, Kylie is extremely influential on social media. She has almost 25 million followers on Twitter. She's hugely popular on Snapchat. So her saying, I'm over Snapchat, the fear for investors of that is that that's going to trickle down to all of her millennial followers who will also think Snap is no longer cool. It's interesting after Snap reported, you know, its first strong quarter ever. Absolutely. Right? I mean, there was a huge investor reaction to that positive earnings growth. But we have to remember that it was positive earnings because there were incredibly low expectations. Investors have slowly lowered the bar further and further for this company. It's still not profitable. We've been seeing slow, slowing revenue growth, but their user base is still growing at a somewhat steady rate. What do we know about, you know, growth among among younger users and popularity given competition from Instagram and you know, of course, Facebook, which Facebook proper, I know we're not as worried about, but Instagram is really the problem. Absolutely. When Instagram rolled out their stories product, there was a significant drop in the amount of usage of Snapchat. There's a lot of anecdotal stories coming out about millennials switching entirely away from Snapchat and onto Instagram because it's offering many of the same services. Another big concern of investors is Snapchat's redesign. Evan Spiegel recognizes that Snapchat is pretty complicated to use, so he's been trying to make it easier. But his attempts to make it easier have caused very intense backlash from his core user base. So the fear is that this won't eventually even rejuvenate user growth. Quick thoughts on Evan Spiegel's enormous payday? Well, like many tech CEOs, he decided to reward himself a very large stock grant. Now, this uh, stock amount of about 636 million dollars mm -hmm. will be rewarded over the course of several years in 2020 it was a one-time thing but again it's not great for employee morale when the ceo of your company is making this much money and your company is still unprofitable